Good morning, everyone, on this early Wednesday morning. Hopefully, you're off to a good start. Once again, chilly out there. Uh, some of the outlying areas into the upper 30s. Uh, I was around 38.9 here this morning, as uh, we do have some areas closer to 40, but around uh, Chattanooga, temperatures are into the lower to middle 40s. So, starting to see a pretty big difference when it comes to the outlying areas and uh, the city when it comes to these morning lows. And that will be the case as we head into the uh, middle of springtime. And that's gonna play a factor when it comes to our last frost or freeze. We'll get right into that here in just a minute or so. But once again, thanking our sponsor, Class Farm Nursery. It is flower and planting season. So check them out for all the latest uh, bargains. And uh, uh, once again, we'll go ahead and take a look at what you expect as we move into your early uh, let's say Wednesday morning. Notice these temperatures not as chilly, but still around the edges. We're seeing some upper 30s as uh, uh, through the morning hours, temperatures will quickly warm up. In fact, today it'll be warmer than yesterday. Upper 70s, maybe close to 80 in a couple of spots. Notice tonight we'll see mostly clear skies, overnight lows into the upper 40s, so not as cold. But as we head into your Thursday, clouds slowly increasing. Notice may see a late shower too. You can see an upper level low pressure system with that flow coming in out of the south and southwest as uh, that will continue as we head into the uh, day on Friday. Thursday night we'll see a round of showers, maybe a few scattered showers and thunder showers Friday. It's not going to be an all-day thing and then by the time we head into Saturday, dry, warm, 80 to 82 and then a few more passing showers Sunday. But next week is looking pretty quiet and that could be the target date to get some gardening done if you're wanting to plant those vegetables and maybe uh, get uh, kind of into that full-time mode when it comes to uh, planting and getting all your flowers done. I think next Next week is really going to be a pretty good week as our last uh, typical frost around here is about the 18th of April. So that's the average last frost. So that's something that we'll continue to watch and looking ahead about 10 days. I don't see any frost dangers. Now, uh, last couple of mornings, it's been a close call. Had a little patchy frost at my house yesterday morning, but not any this morning. And as we head into the next eight or 10 days, I think uh, our frost danger is going to be very minimal. And I think our freeze danger is over for the season. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and kind of get things going by the middle of next week. Even though soil temperatures are still going to be cool for a while, It'll take probably the first week or two of May to really get a lot of activity. Uh, I think now may be a, a pretty good time to start thinking. Maybe next week I'm going to go ahead and start to put my garden in. So just some food for thought there, and uh, hopefully things will work out. In fact, today is going to be a beautiful one. So take care, be safe, have a great rest of your Wednesday, and uh, we'll talk to you later.